Hi YouTube and welcome back to the last episode of Gingerbread Fever. I am so sad that the series is ending. However, Valentine's Day is over and it's time to hop over into spring and Easter. So I will also be having a spring and Easter uh, series that will kick off March the 7th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So every Saturday in the month of March, um, I will be showcasing some spring and Easter projects. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a video. I also would like to thank everyone for the sweet condolences, um, condolences regarding the death of my grandmother. I truly appreciate all of the love and support that I received. And what you see before you are some of the cards that um, I received and I wanted to share those real quickly. Um, today what I will also be sharing is a tutorial of uh, doing or creating the cute little gingerbread faces. So I thought that would be a great way to end this series by doing a, a small tutorial. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll have a tutorial put together for you. So real quickly, I want to share with you guys the beautiful cards that I received from some of my friends. This first beautiful card was created by Veronica. Uh, my sweet crafty friend, she sent me this um, sympathy card and I thank you so very much, Veronica. I will link her YouTube channel below so you guys can check her out. She is super, super talented and you will be inspired. So thank you so much, Veronica. And this beautiful card was created by my best friend and my bestie, uh, Miss Markeisha. She also has a YouTube channel. However, she's currently not doing videos. I hope that she will return it sometime, but I'm still going to link her uh, YouTube channel below. Um, she has some awesome um, crafty work um, to inspire you all. So I'm going to link her below uh, so you guys can check her out. All right, but look at this beautiful card she created for me. So thank you so very much, Markeisha, for this beautiful, beautiful card. And then lastly, I have this um, sympathy card or thinking of you card that was sent to me um, by my sorority sisters um, of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. So thank you so much. Starting off, I'm showing you basically the supplies that you will need to create your cute gingerbread face. I love to use the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I love using these pens. This is the Millennium Pen as well as the uh, Micron 01 Pen for the eyes or the eyelashes. I love using this um, brush, and you'll see in the tutorial how I use this brush. I also like using these soft applicators. You can pick this up from Amazon. I also have some white pan pastels, but you can use regular white chalk. And I also have the black pan, pan pastels. You can also use black chalk. Love this art glitter glue, some tweezers, and some Stampin' Up! pastel um, chalks, but you can use whatever chalks you have in your stash. Here I'm just inking the face for the gingerbread. I like to start off on the mat first and then slowly move in just to create a nice inked border for your gingerbread face. You'll see here, um, that's what I'm doing. When I start out, I start out lightly, and then as I get near the end, I go a little darker. Here you can see I continue to blend and I'm going in a little further into the face, but I like to leave the middle portion of the face not so inked. Almost like if you were using Copic markers, just kind of the middle portion of the face, I don't put ink there. 
and you'll see in a minute. You see it's lighter in the middle of the face. So I didn't put a lot of ink there. That's just something I like to do. I think it looks a little bit better when you do that. So it's up to you and it's a personal preference. And now I'm getting ready to share with you how I create the eyes uh, for the gingerbread. I'm just placing the eyes in place. And then I'm gonna get my pen and I'm gonna outline the eye. And the reason I'm doing this, this gives me like a, a tray or point to draw on my eyelashes. So that's the purpose of that. So just outline the outside of the eye from top to bottom. And this will be the eye line, the outline, excuse me, to draw on the eyelashes. And then you just move the eyes out of the way. And this is what the little outline will look like. And now this is where I use the pan pastels to kind of outline that line that I made. It just gives the eyes more definition. And I made a mistake here and I like to share my mistakes because you can learn from those mistakes. So I went too heavy on these pan pastels and I did it a little bit too dark as you'll see in a minute, but go really, really light with the pan pastels. If you have regular chalk, it may be a little better, but you have to really, really go light with that. So I, I went a little bit too dark there, but you know, I just gotta make it work. So then you're gonna uh, replace the eyes where you um, need them. going to apply some um, glue this is a SVG little file that I'm using I will link it below and here I'm just placing the eye in place and you're gonna place it you know right where you drew your little outline Now that I have my eyes into place, I'm going to draw on my eyelashes. Now this is the part that takes a little bit of practice. I like to turn my image and I'm just going to flick towards me. So you just do some flickering with your pen towards yourself. That's how I do it. Um, it just works a little better for me that way. Um, so you can see that's what I'm doing. And then you can just go over the places that are kind of empty and just fill it in to get some fuller eyelashes. So just flick towards yourself. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of messy, you guys. That pan pastels, I told you, I went too heavy. But that's okay. This is what it's looking like so far. The little frosting top kind of hid a lot of the pan pastel um, that I got there. Now I'm going to draw in the little eyeballs with my white pen. So that's what I'm about to do here. 
And I'm just going to draw two little, one big circle, circle, excuse me, one big circle and then a little small one underneath. And this takes, you know, a little bit of practice. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. This is what I have so far. Now I'm going to use the pan pastels and I'm going to put some in the center of the eye. It kind of make the black not be so bold. And so I like the look of that with my faces. So that's what I'm doing here using the soft applicator. Just dotting a little bit of the pan pastels over the black of the eye and it just tones it down for you. Now I'm going to put on the nose. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to apply some pink chalk to for the cheeks. Just dotting a little bit there off so I won't get too much. And just go in a circular, mo circular motion for the cheeks. And then do the other side. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to use my white gel pen and just put three little dots. Just gives it, you know, a little bit of character there for the face. And I'm going to do that on both sides. This is what it looks like. And now I'm going to draw on the mouth. And this is what it looks like. So here's the end result. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you always do something with love and passion.